evaluation of clinical efficacy of therapy in children with asthma associated with mycoplasma infection. Uh, in recent years, much attention has been paid to the role of infectious agents in asthma in children. And the uncontrolled cause of asthma in children and insufficient efficacy of standard therapy regimens may be due to underestimated infectious factors. And much attention has been paid to elucidating the role of mycoplasma infection as a trigger of uh, exacerbation uh, asthma and the choice of effective antibacterial therapy for long-term persistence of mycoplasma in patients. Uh, with exacerbation of asthma, mycoplasma pneumonia and mycoplasma hominis are especially often found while the phenomena of prolonged circulation of antigens, DNA, and whole mycoplasma cells in the blood of patients, both in a free state and in the structure of circulating immune complexes in patients with respiratory pathology is noted. The uh, CIC is a kind of depot for the preservation of not only various cellular components of mycoplasmas, but also living cells. And uh, microlytes are the drugs of choice in the treatment of diseases of the respiratory tract caused by mycoplasma infection in preschool children and however, the impact of mycoplasma infection on the exacerbation and the disease, the choice of the antibiotics therapy and the control of the therapy remain in insufficient study. Uh, in our study, 320 children with asthma were observed in the clinic of childhood diseases of Seton of University. And here on the picture, you can see our clinic, which is the oldest pediatric clinic in our country. It was founded in the 19th century. And uh, 102 children had mild asthma. Um, uh, it is uh, 32 percent, uh, about 60 percent had moderate, and 8 percent had severe bronchial asthma. And, excuse uh, me, the uh, children. excuse me, Dr. Natalia. Your yes. presentation, you can put in a PowerPoint. Excuse mode me, please. Stolen. I'll try. Yeah, yeah. try once more. Excuse me, please. I'll try once more. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. Uh, once more time. I'll try. Excuse me. Maybe some problems. Mm -hmm. You can see now or not? Yes, now it is in. You can see. Uh, the previous the previous slide, you can't no, see. Only the first previous. slide was visible. Other slides were not uh, coming in, scrolling in. Uh -huh. And this slide you have seen already or not? This slide is seen. Earlier ah, okay. two slides we couldn't uh, see. Yes, now you can see, OK? Yes, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, the uh, this is the building of our clinic. You can see it. And uh, the diagnosis of asthma was established on the basis of an amnestic clinical data, general clinical, allergic, and instrumental examination. And the sensitization and spectrum was evaluated by allergen specific immunoglobulin E testing. All children were on basic, basic therapy and children was not effective enough and all children had exacerbations of the disease. Uh, and examination of children for mycoplasma infection was carried out in the laboratory of mycoplasmas and cell forms of bacteria of the Gamalay Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology in Moscow. It is uh, the leading center of uh, microbiology in our country. Uh, uh, the following mycoplasma type and reference strains were used in this study. 
uh, the mycoplasma chromestrin uh, age 34, the mycoplasma pneumonia FH strain, mycoplasma arthritis strain PG6, the mycoplasma fermenter strain PG18, and uroplasma realitikum cell types 8. Uh, grown in a liquid medium prepared by the method of cultivation of mycoplasmas. And the reaction of aggregate gemagglutination was used for detection of mycoplasma and urea plasma antigens in blood samples. And the detection of mycoplasma antigen in the structure of the CIC isolated from the blood serum of patients was carried out by direct immunofluorescence reaction. Uh, to isolate uh, uh, CIC from blood serum samples, we use the method of precipitation with 3.5% uh, polyethylene glycol, hemagglutination assays, and um, uh, Elisa were used to identify mycoplasma antigens. Mycoplasma DNA was detected by PCR with interlab service diagnostic kits. And uh, uh, the data of uh, 37 patients uh, with the prolonged mycoplasma antigenemia were assessed at the baseline and in 1.5 to three months after the treatment course of azithromycin. And when mycoplasma infection was detected, the children received treatment with azithromycin, three courses at a dose of 10 milligrams per kilogram body weight, for three days with an interval of four days, taking into account the possibility of azithromycin um, accumulation in the affected tissues and maintaining the therapeutic concentration for five to seven days. And the aim of uh, our study was the improvement of the efficiency assessment a methods of therapy of mycoplasma infection in children with asthma. Um, in um, uh, reaction of aggregate uh, uh, agglutination, hemagglutination, uh, mycoplasma pneumonia was detected in 61%, uh, mycoplasma hominis in 40%, 3%, uh, Uroplasma realiticum in 45%, Mycoplasma arthritis in about uh, 30%, and Mycoplasma fermenters in uh, 45%. And here you can see on this picture the frequency of detection of different numbers of Mycoplasmas in a reaction of uh, aggregate hemagglutination. Uh, since mycoplasma pneumonia is a causative agent of respiratory mycoplasmosis and mycoplasma hominis infects the respiratory tract by airborne droplets, the effect of these types of mycoplasmas on the bronchial asthma in children was examined in more detail. And the assessment of a relationship between of mycoplasma pneumonia, mycoplasma hominis, and asthma exacerbation showed that antigens of mycoplasma pneumonia and mycoplasma hominis were found in 67% children, single or associated. And uh, we analyzed also the number of asthma exacerbations in 124 children who did not change the basic therapy of asthma for three months before the start of azithromycin therapy. And during the same period after the end of treatment, uh, one patient had uh, 2.7 plus or minus 0.8 exacerbation before treatment. And uh, uh, after treatment, uh, 1.2 plus or minus 0.4 exacerbation after treatment. After treatment with azithromycin, the frequency of asthma exacerbations within three months decreased by 2.3 times as well.
well as there was a reduction in the number of samples positive for antigens and DNA of mycoplasma in a free state and within CIC. And here on this picture, you can see the number of asthma exacerbations per month before and after treatment of mycoplasma infection. And uh, the persistence of, of antigen for minutes before treatment of 47 children was about 81% and 66% uh, of cases after treatment with azithromycin, 32% uh, and uh, about 25% of cases, respectively. And uh, within uh, CIC, isolated from the blood serum of patients, antigens to mycoplasma pneumonia and mycoplasma hominis before treatment were detected um, in uh, 64 and 70% uh, uh, of children and after treatment in 32 and 23 percent, respectively. Here on this picture, you can see frequency or frequency of detection of metaplasma pneumonia antigens and DNA in patients before and after treatment. And uh, on this uh, Picture, you can see frequency of detection of mycoplasma before and after treatment. And in blood samples, DNA of mycoplasma pneumonia and uh, mycoplasma hominis uh, was detected by PCR before treatment in 8 uh, uh, and 34 uh, percent uh, and after treatment in 6 uh, percent and 90 percent of cases, respectively. And uh, within uh, CIC, isolated from blood serum in 27 and um, uh, 49 percent of cases before treatment, and eight and uh, 34 percent after it, respectively. And uh, the obtained results showed that the use of azithromycin for the treatment of children with asthma associated with mycoplasma infection significantly reduces the number of patients positive for antigens and DNA of mycoplasma cells, both in the free state and in CIC. And we also uh, um, did very interesting study from seven uh, CIC samples uh, containing mycoplasma hominis DNA and two uh, CIC samples containing mycoplasma pneumonia DNA, a typical cultures of mealy colonies of mycoplasma hominis and mycoplasma pneumonia were isolated. And the specificity of which was confirmed not only by DFF and PCR, but also by the ability to grow on a solid medium for mycoplasmas. Yeah. And um, the addition, it's very important that the addition of microlides to the complex of treatment of asthma improves uh, the cost and prognosis of a mycoplasma mini cells that have absolute uh, resistance to antibiotics used in the treatment of, of human mycoplasmosis remains. And this problem of neoplasma associated mycoplasma of specific markers of mycoplasma cells in the comprehensive diagnosed exacerbation of asthma increases the effectiveness, effectiveness of therapy control for mycoplasma infection and improves the prognosis of asthma in patients. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Natalia.